Hey guys, this is a retro pair back again with my interactive let's play of Cabela's Dangerous Hunts. Okay, just gonna turn this down a bit. Alright, so anyways, uh, this is going to be a compilation of different requests, which are on the, um, the request video that I've provided. So, um, basically I'm only gonna do the requests that people post on that video, so if you want to post any requests, you can just copy and paste them from any previous videos. And that, um, whatever the hell that is, is getting murdered. And it's just standing there doing nothing. Okay. Brilliant AI. Anyways, um, basically this request comes from Silent Cougar 555. And he requested that we, uh, hunt a wild boar with a scopeless rifle. So we're gonna do that now. Um, we have a the 30, 338 caliber Magnum, which is a mid-tier um, rifle, and we have some basic equipment along with that. So without further ado, let's go ahead and hunt that boar. Yeah, boars have a tendency to do some um, what they call it infighting. I think it's called that. Anyways, um, a few times that I've played this game, the boars have actually killed each other, which makes the hunt kind of impossible. So that's unfortunate. It really only happens when the game spawns the boars close to each other. So um, that's just one of this game's many flaws. Doesn't stop it from being a good game, but it gets kind of annoying. Okay, so this boar's gonna kill us straight away. For some reason my gun's not firing. And now it's dead. Okay, so kind of a short request, I guess. Um, I believe Silent Cougar 555 uh, adjusted his request to this request. But anyways, I hope you're satisfied with that. Um, get a good look at what we just killed, in case you're interested. Um, sometimes it actually has like the blood where I made the impact, but I guess it doesn't this time. Anyways, pretty big, decent sized ball, I guess. But, um, yeah, let's go to the next request. And I'm gonna skip it to the actual um, hunt screen so that you guys don't be bored by any loading screens. Okay, alright, we'll catch you later. Okay, so this next request comes from Fish John Berg. Who requested that we hunt the um, the Kodiak bear with the weakest rifle, as we just saw there. The Kodiak bear is by itself, which is a good thing. And it's probably ah oh, crap. Um, we're gonna have to get to it before it gets murdered by that moose, unfortunately. Uh, we're in the good old first level, uh, Alaska, right now, and we, as you can see, that's the weakest rifle, the 270 bolt action rifle which is actually a very ter uh, terrible gun so this might be a bit of a challenge maybe although this game isn't exactly that hard oh god I'm gonna die um yeah it would be wise to take the bridge right there wouldn't it? that would make sense anyways <laughs> Uh, it's just over here, I'm guessing. Not gonna really do any stealth with it because Kodiak bears tend to just charge towards you, which is what a bear normally does, I'm guessing. We don't really have any here in Australia, but anyways, actually, you know what, just for shits and giggles, I'm gonna see if I can get it from here. to get a clear shot at it. Is that... Ah, hold on, it's seen us. Never mind. Wait. God damn it, stay in one spot. Ah, okay, it looks like it's chasing that deer. Ah, uh, noose. Okay, like I said before, this is a very weak rifle. There we go. Okay, so we actually got it from a distance when normally I would just get it from point blank range. 
Oh well. So yeah, we just killed the bear with the Rickus rifle. So let's go ahead and collect its trophy. I wonder what it was fighting with. Because I could see it charging at something. Anyways, let's claim the trophy before we get brutally mad. Alright, so... Jesus Christ, that's a big bear. Over a ton. Oh, actually that's pounds. So you have to convert that to kilos. Anyways, ooh, 78 yards. That's not too bad, actually. So yeah, uh, thank you for that request, Fish John Bird. As always, just like with Silent Cougar, um, you can go check out his channel, which I provided at the beginning of this request. So I don't know why the hell I'm saying it. Anyways, uh, let's go ahead to the next request by, um, we'll, we'll get to that in a second. So, catch you later. Okay, so this next request is by Sterling Marshall. He's using the new um, the new YouTube naming system with the Google account, so I'm going to try and link it there. But anyways, he said, as you saw there with the polar bear, um, we have to hunt a polar bear with the 45-70 revolver, which we have in our hands right now. There we go. Okay, um, so we're obviously not going to take this route because that would be stupid and we would drown. But um, yeah, this, mm, I don't know, this map is kind of confusing I guess at times. Um, usually in this map with the polar bear I end up facing him at the bridge. And a few times I've actually made the polar bear fall off the bridge and I've had to get rescued by the warden. So, hopefully that doesn't happen in this video, because that would suck. Anyways, moving on. Uh, I'm guessing he's just behind this mountain here, which is going to be a fair walk. Uh, I guess you guys can skip ahead if you don't like long walking segments. But, uh, whatever. Ah, oh, alright, looks like he's right where I guessed he would be, which is near the... Actually, no, I spoke too soon. Disregard what I just said. Okay, so you got to be really careful along this bridge. As you saw in my first video, uh, bridges aren't exactly my specialty because I ended up, I ended up falling off them and dying. Especially when the controller decides it wants to go to the veer off to the left. Thank you, controller. Alright, so, oh, ah, oh, thank god, I thought he was just hit it. Just about ready to shoot. Actually, this is not going to work. I don't know why I'm doing this, but let's see if we can get a stealth shot. As you can probably guess, revolvers are not good for long range. They're merely a defense weapon. I'm guessing that polar bear is murdering the deer over there. And no, he's on the other side of the mountain. So we just wasted the bullet for nothing. Oh come on. Get ah good. Thought we were glitched in the rock then. That would have been terrible. Okay, so let's navigate to the other side of the mountain. Oh yeah, I was um I was looking at the output videos and it seems like my easy cap has just defaulted to the terrible sound quality that came with the um with the factory model. Uh, yeah, I don't really have any means to remedy that, so that's unfortunate, I guess. Hey, got him right in the head. Nice shot. Okay, so that polar bear is down. Let's just get a look at him before we ever begin. 
Ooh. Right in the throat, apparently. Ooh, I would not like to be that polar bear right now. Alright, so this one's bigger than the Kodiak there. And we got it from, eh, 28 yards this time. Not too bad, not too bad. Especially with a revolver. So yeah, um, we the next request is actually from Sterling Marshall again. So we'll get to that in a second. Uh, catch you in a second. Okay, so as I said before, the next request is from Sterling Marshall. And um, this time we have to hunt a Kodiak bear. Uh, we're in the same place as before with a 12 inch knife. Uh, his request specifically said either a polar bear or a Kodiak bear. And, uh, polar bear, it's, it's not hard because I've done it before. But, um, I just wanted to do Kodiak bear to kind of switch things up since we just did the polar bear. Um, and I guess it would be kind of boring if you did that long walk again, the four minute walk. So, uh, yeah, we just decided to do the Kodiak bear. So, yeah, let's do this. Uh, again, uh, like I said before, if you want to request, re do the request on that specific video which I uploaded, because um, otherwise I will, I won't be able to get to it because the other videos are kind of just littered with comments which is why I kind of made that request video to situate, uh, to remedy that. Oh, and there's a wolf trying to crash. Shit. Um, where's the second one? Alright, so they're both dead. Uh, trying to screw with my let's play. Thank you, Wolves. Uh, so let's use that medical kit, which I um, which I equipped uh, in anticipation because I knew something like that was going to happen. But anyways, let's go ahead and get that bet. And it appears it's behind the mountain. So yeah, you got an extra two kills in this video. Yep, he's just over here. You can see him bouncing along there on the uh, the red dot radar. And is he attacking the moose? Please don't tell me he is, because he could end up getting killed. Then I'd have to face the wall and go, Your prey has been taken by another animal. And that would really annoy me. Oh god, stop running away. Hey, bear, bear, yep. Yeah. Could you, could you come back here, please? Thank you. I would appreciate that. No, no. Come on. I'm tastier. Come and get me. I've got tastier in me. And that sounded really dirty. And, um, he decided he wanted to run in the water there. Like a moron. Alright, thank god he didn't die in the water, otherwise we would have drowned. He's spazzing away there, that's always nice. So let's go claim the trophy. Um, ooh, this one's a big one. Uh, I guess there's no marks there. Anyways, uh, that was the last request that we're doing in this video, since I don't actually have any more requests on that request video, unfortunately. But um, yeah. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, I know that I haven't done one in a long time and I apologize because I was having issues with my um, Linux partition. But now I'm using Windows 7 and Fraps, so that's not a problem anymore. So, um, yeah, thanks for watching this video, guys. Stay tuned for more. And stay tuned for more Fallout 2, which is coming soon. And yes, I promise it is coming soon. If it's not, then you can yell at me in the comment section. So yeah, uh, I hope you enjoyed this and catch you later.